morning. How is everyone today? Hope you're all well. Here today with me, Nicole, from Des Renford Learning Centre and taking a Stronger for Life class. Looking forward to seeing everyone back on board next week. Um, our live classes are starting again with the gym opening on the 18th. So this may be your last online class. We're going to have a nice, good stretch to warm up and then get into our strength work for today. Um, remember this class is slightly slower paced. Um, for a slightly older clientele, um, in saying that, we do have younger people doing it and just using some heavier weights if need be. Uh, push yourselves within your own capabilities. Um, make sure if you have any injuries or illnesses that you get doctor's clearance and are working within your capabilities. Um, as I said, we're going to have a warm up, uh, a stretch, and then get into some strength work. Hopefully, most of you have got some kind of weights that you can use today. Make sure you've got some space around you, as well as a mat for our floral exercises later on. I'll be using a set of dumbbells. If you've got a light set of dumbbells, then have those on hand. If you've only got one weight, then you can use a single weight or so. Or if you don't have anything, then you maybe have have you know made something from the cupboard, a, a tin of tin of baked beans, tin of spaghetti, um, whatever it might be, a couple of water bottles filled with water. Um, we will be using weights for our main main set. So I'll be using some dumbbells. Um, I think without any further ado, we should get on with a stretch. We're going to reach up, just separate the feet a little. Toes pointed out, reaching up, just leaning back slightly, stretching through the back and shoulders there. And then I just want you to come down towards the opposite toe and back up. Down to the opposite toe and back up. Keep going about five to each side, stretching out, just down as far as you can. All oh, looking forward to getting back into the gym next week, I'm sure. And some stronger for life live classes begin. And one more. And reaching up back together with the feet and just down towards the toes. Just as low as you can go. Drop the head down and coming back up and go down one more time. Down towards the toes. Hold it there. And back up. Bring those arms behind you. Clasp those hands together. Lean forward. And back up. And one more time. Leaning forward. And back up. Turn it round. And I want you to go into a side lunge, side stretch of the legs there. Go as deep as you can, or if it's just a small dip, just have it like that. But if you can go a bit further down, take it all the way, a little bit wider. That arm up on the bent leg side, lean into the straight leg. Stretch down through the side there. Hold it. And back up. Over to the other side. Bend the other knee. Arm up on that bent leg side. 
Be nice and straight and in line there. Lean over into the straight leg. Try and get that stretch down through the side. And back. Feet wide, we're going to go down to the ground again, but this time hands underneath and push back as far as you can there, towards the ground, hold, three, two, one, come back up, bring those arms up, legs back in, and do a few arm rotations back, straight arms, three, four, five, other side, one, two, three, four, five. And then I want you to just go into some high knees there. March the knee up as high as you can. Just loosening up all the joints, stretching the muscles, warming them up for the strength work that's coming. At least we've got a bit of sunshine outside at the moment. I was expecting rain all day. Three, two, one. And finally, let's just do some twists there. Just twisting it round, loosening up the spine. Just bend the arm across the body and follow it round. Not too vicious, just Slow, constant twist. Three, two, one, and finally, if you're able, we're just going to walk it out twice onto our hands, into that plank, walk it back if you're able to. Alright, walking it out, hold. Walk it back with quite straight legs and come back up, roll the shoulders back. One more time, walk it out, hold, walk it back and roll those shoulders back. Good work. All right, grab your weights. Grab your weights that you have available to you. Just make sure you have a water bottle nearby, have a quick drink. And we're going to start with some squats. Today we're basically going to do um, two exercises alternately. And then we're going to go into 45 seconds of some kind of cardio activity. Right, you choose what activity you want to do. Um, so you can do your fast feet. Sorry, just before we start this, give you the various cardio options that you can do. Um, depending on you know your ability and your limitations so you can do a high knee jog if you want to you can do fast little feet you can do a march these are your cardio options you could do mountain climbers if you're up to it that means on the ground and bringing those knees up you could do star jumps or a star jump variation just stepping from one side to the other all right, so when I say you're doing some cardio, you choose what you want to do there, getting that heart rate up in between our strength work. So we're going to start with some squats, with or without weights. All right. If you're holding weights, you're going to hold them on the chest there. All right, you're going to hold them on the chest. You're going to go down for 10 squats as deep or low, or not so deep as is suitable to you. All right, if you need a chair behind you, you can have that chair pushing that bottom down towards the ground and back up. I want you to do 10. Sink into the heels, keep your form. Ready? Go for 10. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back up. We are going into shoulder presses if you've got the two weights. If you've only got one weight, you can do a single press up from the chest. If you've got two weights, onto the shoulders there. Feet about shoulder width apart and you're pushing up. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. Ten more. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back down. Then we're going into another ten squats. Like I said, add the weight if you want to, or do them without weight. All right? As low as you're able, keep your form. Do not let those knees collapse in on the way down. Sink into the heels. Ready? Ten squats. Go. Keep the core strong. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work. Back into shoulder presses. All right, if you've got any shoulder problems, then do not use a weight. All right, anything over the head. Maybe just use a very light weight or no weight at all. All right? As I said, modify where you need to. But if you're up to it, onto the shoulders there and up for 10. Breathe out on the lift. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back down. We're going to do one more set of each. Ten more squats. Deep breath. Get ready. With weights if you want. Down for ten. Go. Control the movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back down into 10 more shoulder presses. Shoulders back, little breather, deep breaths, and bring them up onto the shoulders there, and go. One, two, three, just a steady pace, don't race it. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and back down. Put the weights down. You're either having a rest or you're going into your 45 seconds of cardio. Right, remember the options, the high knees, the fast on the spot, the star jumps, the mountain climbers, um, or yeah, whatever you want to do with regards to just getting that heart rate up a little. We're going for 45 seconds. Get ready. Go. I'm just going to do some high knees here. You can do a fast jog if you want. Just keep the pace up a little. 
We'll start with knees and go into a jog if you like. You've got 30 seconds to go. Keep it going, 15 seconds to go.
Get your breath. Just go at your own pace with these figure eights. You're going to go a little faster or you can slow it down. Get ready. 30 seconds and go. Seven, eight, 
Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Step it together. Weight down for a moment. Then you're going to lift that weight back up. Straight arms. And twisting. Keep it strong. Round to one side. Slowly. Back to the centre. Round to the other side. Keep the shoulders back. One side to the other. We'll do 12 twists. That's four. Five. Keep the core strong. Seven, not too fast. Eight. Keep the pace in time with me. Nine. Ten. One more to each side. Eleven. Twelve. And back. And back down. Well done. We've got another set of reverse lunges. Or, like I said, if you're finding that reverse lunge difficult, just step it back and do a little dip and back again. If you're able, all the way down and back. All right, let's go for 12. Go. Make sure you're breathing. Three. Get ready. 
15 seconds. And 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Give it all a little bit of a shake out. Shake the arms, shake the legs. A little quad stretch if you like. Shake. And we're going down onto a mat. Down onto a mat. We're going to lie on our backs. Lie on our backs. Breathe out as you lift. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And back. And to the centre, we'll go ten little crunches, whichever kind you like. Feet on or off the ground. Support the neck there. Little crunches. Go. Drop 
and just do a few sways from side to side. Loosen up that upper body, relax. And then just rolling it up slowly. Come up, straight. Three big shoulder rolls back. Two and three. Finish with a little shoulder stretch there. Pull that in. Each arm. And a very slight soft neck stretch. Take the outside of the head there and just small push down to each side. One. We've just gone over time a little here, so we'll finish off with that stretch there. I hope you have enjoyed the workout and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.